In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use finviz.com to screen for stock ideas based off of almost any criteria you can think of. If you want to look for high growth companies at a reasonable price, you can look for those stocks. If you want to look for stocks with high dividends, stable cash flows, and have a large market cap, you can also find that using Finviz. Pretty much any criteria that you might want to search for stocks based off of, you can do in this tool. And best of all, it's totally free. You can see here I'm not logged in, I'm not registered, and I'm still going to be able to use the screener and walk you through the tool just fine. The site does offer premium plans. Uh, you generally won't really need the premium plan uh, because the functionality in the free version is so robust. But if you really hate ads, uh, the premium version will get rid of the ads. It'll also give you access to real-time stock price data. So all of this data on the free version is 15 minutes delayed for stock quotes, which isn't a big deal for screening stocks. But if you care about real-time data, it's in the premium version. And there's a couple extra filtering options available uh, as well in the screener in the premium version. But the functionality is so robust in the free version that I don't think that you'll need it. So without further ado, let's hop into the screener here. And you can see that in the database, we have unfiltered 8,562 stocks that show up. And these stocks are going to be all US exchange listed stocks. They're not necessarily based on the US. You know, we have Chinese companies, we have European companies, but it's important to note that all of the stocks are listed on a US exchange. So we have these tabs for different filters and we filter by just clicking into a Dropbox and then selecting an option. The descriptive tab is the first tab that we'll talk about. And this is just information uh, describing the stock essentially. So what exchange does the stock trade on? Is it a part of an index? You know, what's the sector for the stock? What's the float, the industry, country that it operates in? Anything describing the stock will pretty much show up in this tab. Whereas the fundamental tab is related to the underlying health of the business. So your valuation metrics are really going to show up in here, like the price to earnings ratio, the forward price to earnings, what's the sales growth been, what's the earnings per share growth, what is its debt, uh, have there been insider transactions lately. Anything kind of about the fundamental health of the business is going to show up in this tab. The technical tab is where technical analysis related things show up. So if you want to filter stocks that are up a certain amount or down a certain amount on the day, week, month, quarter, half, or year, you can do that in here. If you want to look at stocks that are above or below, uh, simple moving averages for the 20 day, 50 day, and 200 day. You can also do that. You can screen for RSI, maybe look at stocks that are really oversold. You can look for certain patterns uh, or candlesticks. So there's plenty of technical analysis filtering options as well. And the all tab is just going to pull the descriptive, fundamental, and technical screening options and throw them all in here. So anything that you can screen off of will show up in the All tab. So now I'm going to actually start adding some screening uh, filters here. And you'll see here, if you keep an eye on the total, that the total is going to go down as I start adding in these filters. So let's say I want to look at, for mid cap companies in the technology sector. Now we've only got 193 stocks. 
and let's say I care about the fundamentals and I want the stocks to be profitable. I want them to have high sales growth the past five years. And I also want them to have high gross margins. You can see now that I have four stocks in my screen because each of these just filtered down the stocks that meet the criteria. Maybe four stocks is a little small for a screening and let's say I want to broaden it a little bit. You can always go back and remove a screen. So let's say I decide, hey, I'm interested in any sector that meets this criteria. Now you can see that our results went up to 44 and I've got stock showing up from different sectors now. But I'm going to add this filter back on and we're going to talk a little bit about some of the views that you can get after you've screened based off of your criteria. So this overview is going to show you kind of the basic information like the company, sector, industry, country, market cap things like that. The valuation tab is going to show you valuation information metrics. Uh, so it changes the table to include the price to earnings, the earnings per share, uh, forward price to earnings, uh, ratios, and financial metrics like that, or valuation metrics. The next tab is the financial metrics tab. And this is going to be showing you things related to debt, margins, what their earnings are, the return on investment, return on equity, whether there's a dividend or not. So if it has to do with the finances of the company, it's probably going to show up in here. The ownership tab is going to show you who owns the stock. So if you want to get a look at how much the stock is owned by insiders, what they've been doing with their recent transactions, do the institutions own it, what's their recent transactions, how much of the flow to short. You can find all the answers to these questions in the ownership tab. The performance tab shows you how the stock's been doing recently. So we can see the performance for each of these stocks for the week, month, quarter, half, and year, year to date. Um, so if you want to see how's the stock been doing, this is the tab for you. Technical tab is going to show you the technical analysis metrics like the simple moving averages, 52 week highs and lows, the RSI, and technical analysis metrics. The custom tab is really powerful because if you click into it, you can then click settings and I can curate what information I actually want to show up uh, in my results here. So let's say I want to add 52 week high and low. I kind of want to see those. If I click the check boxes, they get added. And let's say that I don't really want to see what the country is. If I uncheck that, country disappears. So you can curate what information you want to show up in your results by going into the settings tab in this custom view. Chart section is going to show you the charts for the companies in your screening. So if you want to get a visual view of how the stock's been performing, you can get a look of that. The ticker section is going to show you just a list of the tickers and if you hover over them you can get a look at the chart. Um, Basic tab is a side-by-side -side view with the charts for the stocks on the left and basic information about market cap, price to earnings, and other important information on the right. Technical analysis uh, tab is very similar. The only difference is that it swaps out a lot of the basic information for technical analysis information. So like the simple moving averages, the highs and lows, and technical analysis metrics. The new section is similar to the last two views. The biggest thing is that it adds in these news articles here. So this is Finviz basically scraping articles on the internet for each of these stocks 
it, it finds them and it adds their links in here so if you want to read up on things that have recently been published or happening about the stock uh, you can find links to articles here from like Bloomberg, Motley Fool, Financial Times, Yahoo Finance, uh, plenty of different outlets. The snapshot tab is pretty similar. It's also going to include this description of the companies and any insider trades that have recently happened in those companies as well. And the map section is going to show you a heat map of the companies in your screening. You can change the data type that the heat map is showing. So this is just how the stocks perform today. If I wanted to see how they've performed on the year, you know, we can then see that in the heat map. If I want to see what's the price to earnings for each of these on a heat map, you can do that. So you can change this and see a heat map of all the stocks in your screen. So if you've got like a list of 30 stocks, this heat map might be very useful to visually see who's the best based off of certain metrics. And up here, this stat section is one of the premium features that you will not have access to unless you subscribe to Finviz. Um, but we can see that this is a very powerful tool. You can filter by almost anything that you can really think of for the most part, at least the main ones. And it's a really great tool for finding ideas for stocks that you might want to buy based off of your investment philosophy. You're obviously going to want to do research uh, after you get a list of stocks from the screening. You don't want to just buy the stock um, based off of the screening. You should do research into the actual company and make sure that they're trending in the right di direction and would be a good investment. So this is really just to get you started for the screening, but it'll give you so many good ideas for investment opportunities that you might want to look at. And best of all, like I said, it's totally free. So I hope that this video has been helpful. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel for more finance based content. And let me know what you think below in the comments and leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Thank you. Bye.